This tutorial is going to show you a few different techniques to create an accurate shape when doing your half portrait pencil drawing. So you've got your half portrait and you've got your little reference image as well in front of you. I'm going to use a HB pencil, which is what you should use to start, OK, because it's a mid-tone pencil. So the first technique, if you're reasonably confident with drawing, is to do it using your fingers or using a ruler to measure. So, for example, I could use my left hand here and I can just roughly measure from the eye, the corner of the eye, to the middle here. OK, so I know that I'm using my nails to do that. And then just going over. And then I can just make a little dent, okay, so I know that that's the beginning of the shape of that eye, okay? The next thing I can do is the eyebrows. So again, go in from the edge of the eyebrow into the middle and one over and then I can reasonably guess where the beginning of that brow is. And that's just going to really help you to make your drawing symmetrical. I can also measure to the corner of this eye, so I'm going to measure for the inner corner because obviously we've got the lashes coming out. So the inner corner with the edge of the white beers, I can measure that all the way to the middle and do the same on this part here. So I know that that's kind of the inner corner of the eye, so then I can start to draw the shape round and I know I've got the lashes coming out there. So you can start to consider how the shape of the face is going to come together and I know I've got the eyebrows sort of coming around here so the edge of my brow sort of that arch part there I'm going to measure to go across here eyebrows really really frame the face so sometimes the face doesn't look that accurate until you've got those brows in place so I'm starting to get those features in okay and now the edge of the nose okay and obviously still referring to this image here if I do the nose across, I know that the edge is roughly about here. I can sort of then draw this by eye coming round, going up. If I want to know where the edge is, again, I could measure. Or I could use my ruler as well. So I know that that's just over a centimetre over. So if I measure just over a centimetre this side, OK, that's roughly where the edge. So actually going by eye, I wasn't very accurate there. So that's why that measuring comes in really, really handy. Sometimes your artistic eye isn't always accurate. So I've got a couple of features, the basic shapes in place. Looking at the lips, okay, her smile. So most people's faces aren't actually completely symmetrical. So looking at the face, okay, her jaw is actually a little bit more predominant on this side and her um, smile is slightly off here. Okay, so she's smiling a little bit more on this side. And you can see that by the lips because they're not quite central but this part of the face is. So I'm gonna go again by eye and I can measure across with my fingers so I know roughly where the edge of the lips would be. Okay, but I'm just gonna make sure that I'm using this reference image as well to just get the accuracy of that shape. And you notice that I'm doing lots and lots of little lines rather than just doing one solid line. OK, if you do that, OK, first of all, it's difficult to rub out if you make a mistake, but it's very difficult to get it right first time, which is why it's better to do it slowly with lots and lots of little lines. The coordination works much better like that. So I'm sort of getting in that shape now. OK, you can see she's got these little dimples as well. So again, I'm going to do that by eye. OK, the edge of the face, I can definitely measure that. So that'll be roughly the same. OK, so that might go across. So I don't think I've been very accurate with my brow there. So her brows come down here. Actually, her hair comes over that there. OK, and there's obviously different details that are slightly different, like her hair coming down here on both sides. OK, so that you would, again, have to use your artistic eye a little bit. OK, but we're starting now to get the shape of the features in place. You can see that she's got a bit of a crease on her eye over the top. So again, that's going to really help with making it look like it's a little bit more in proportion and with her hairline as well. 
So that's one method that you could do. Another method, okay, for the accuracy of shape is to use a grid. Okay, so I've done two here because I want to show you which one is correct and incorrect. Because when you do the grid, you need to make sure that you do it from the centre outwards. So this one is a problem because I've not done it from the centre outwards. I've done it from the front upwards, which is not correct. So this one is not right. OK, but this one, you can see I've measured it from here up and then here up. So the squares sit side by side. If I was to draw on this one, OK, so imagine that's this square because we've done the grid method before. Being copied onto this square, it just simply wouldn't work because there's a half here. So you just can't copy the squares across. OK, so this needs to finish on the deadline. And you know how the grid method works. So, for example, if I started um, with the edge of the neck, so if I copied this square here, OK, so that's one, two squares in. So one, two squares in here. OK, and it's a little bit confusing at first because you're obviously drawing opposite to what you see. But you get used to that as you start to draw. So I could match that up down here and bring that across. OK, I know I've got a little bit of a dimple coming down there. Actually, that's on the inside. OK, and actually her neck is also coming down in this square. OK, so you can start to get that detail by, pop by copying that across. And there'll be a separate video on how exactly to grid that up if you do start to get a little bit confused with how to actually divide that and measure it. So there's a couple of options for you and how you would like to go about measuring for shape and accuracy, which is what I would like you to focus on for this lesson using a HB pencil. So focus on the outlines of your piece. Make sure you don't go too dark, OK, because you can rub things out, especially if you do choose to do the grid method so you can erase this afterwards.